Hi everybody, I'm Claire from Rainbow Acrylics. I'm going to do another Dutch pour with another iridescent base. This time it's orange, Pebio Studio Acrylics Iridescent Orange. It's a gorgeous colour. I have never used it for a base colour before, so I don't know how it's, go how it's gonna look once it's dried. Uh, I'm going to pair it with deep pinks, um, some pearl whites and Payne's Grey. I'll show you in just a second. So the painting's gonna be very rich, so very sort of orangey, pinky, really rich, deep colours. So ho I'm hoping it's gonna turn out really, really nicely. Um, it's not gonna be a normal Dutch pour. pour. Um, normal, when I say a normal Dutch pour, I'm talking about a line of paint. It's not gonna be that. I don't actually know what it is gonna be yet, but there's gonna be some sort of swirl, some sort of unusual, interesting design to it so um but i'm not sure what it will be yet it, it it i think once i've got the paints in front of me the ideas tend to to come so um let me first of all show you the colors i want to use so here are my colors so the base color is this so iridescent orange yellow by pebio studio acrylics um in the design i've got two more pebio colors i've got the iridescent gold and i've got Payne's gray I've got Montmartre Magenta. I've got um, Amsterdam Quinacridone Rose. I have De La Rowney Graduate Acrylic Pearl White. And then I think I'm also gonna add some of this, Windsor & Newton Galleria Acrylic um, Alizarin Crimson. So reds, pinks, orange, and then a bit of gold and um, Payne's Gray, just for a bit of contrast. Um, all my paints are mixed with Flood Fluoritrol and I will put the recipe for the mixtures in the description of this video. The canvas I'm using is 29 by 42 centimetres. I've covered my base in orange, as you can see. Just to give you a rough idea of the consistency, it's really quite runny. This is an iridescent colour, so I ended up actually adding quite a bit more water to it. I want it runny. I want it a similar consistency to all the other colours, but if anything, on the side of slightly runnier so that the design colours don't sink in it. Um, right, I am still umming and ahhing about the red, whether to put the red in or not. I think I am, because I think it might just add a little bit more depth to the painting. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. So I've got the red, then the gold, Payne's grey, magenta, pearl white, and then the lighter pink on top. So my design, I've just been thinking what, what I'm gonna do. I'm going to do two lines of paint in slight swirls. And then I am going to, I'm really enjoying doing the extra bits of paint and I'm gonna blow them off the edges and then off this edge. So I'm going to end up with a orange channel down the center. That's the plan. So, um, in fact, I did a little sketch. Let me show you my sketch so you can understand. There you go, just a simple little sketch. That's what I have in mind. <laughs> so I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna come up and go up here. So I'm gonna start with the red because I'm not sure about the red. I'm putting it on first so I'll see less of it. Right, am I happy with that? I think I am. So then the other line is going to come down and off here. Right, happy. I've got the middle channel and it's getting smaller and then it's going to get bigger. Yep, I think I'm happy with that. So let's just add a few more little lines of paint. And this is, I'm doing this because I want a really solid amount of colour in the top corner and the bottom corner here. If I just put the paint in the centre along the, the central lines, it will get quite washed out towards the edge. So I don't really want that. I want a nice solid pattern, solid colour. Right. So red's down. So now let's go in with the gold. So I'm going roughly over the red lines, but I'm going a little bit wiggly as well. I 
I'm always starting from the centre and wiggling out because I get more in the centre when, when the paint first hits the canvas. So I've got more here so it will get slightly fainter towards the edge. Funnily enough, the orange, the red and the gold just themselves actually look really quite pretty. That might be worth considering for a colour scheme. Right, Payne's Grey. Try, and, oh, try not to put as much Payne's Grey on because it's such a dark colour. And at this point it might look a little bit messy but it just doesn't matter at all because it's all going to get blown out. It doesn't matter at all. That's all the paint down. So as normal, that's a lot of paint on the canvas. I'm just gonna give it a quick torch. Yeah, that's fine. I can't really see any air bubbles. Right, let's work out how to blow this out. So I want it to have a sort of sweeping feeling up this way. So I think I'll start with the top one and then just blow off over the edges. Colours are really, really pretty. Really pretty. Right, I'm going to turn it round and then do the same the other way. Oh, I just love this mass of colour, mass of design. Right, let's do the same this side. It's so pretty. So I'm now going to work on the composition a little bit. I want a more irregular line here in the middle. I think I'm going to get it to meet here as well. And then just work on the composition a little bit. Wow, what an unusual Dutch pour. Because obviously normally your design is in the centre, but this is the absolute opposite. It's plain in the centre, the design is at the edges. Right, I'm just going to fiddle a bit now. It's another quite crazy painting. Um, I really, really like it. The colours are amazing together. I'm so happy with the colour choice. The red that I was a bit worried about doesn't show that much. You've got um, a hint of it here 
a hint of it here and a little bit here. It's a hint and I'm quite happy with it. Um, I love that you've just got these little bits of the Payne's Grey peeking through. Look at the cells. They have just come out absolutely beautifully. The colours have all blended really nicely. It's so, so pretty. Um, and then I've spent a while just sorting the edges because what, what I was doing was blowing in and blowing out, blowing in both directions to get this really wavy, irregular edge. Um, it would be very, very difficult to get a perfectly straight edge and I'm not sure that that would actually work, that, that that would look right. So what I really like doing is this really choppy, irregular, abstract, arty edge to it. So I'm really pleased with that. Um, again, just some really pretty cells. You can see all the sparkle there. That's the, um, the iridescent white, the pearl white, and I think the gold there, and then obviously the orange, the iridescent orange peeking through as well. So just a fascinating, interesting, slightly weird, slightly crazy painting. Um, but I'm loving this orange band. I love how it starts. I ended up putting it off this corner and then it just gets bigger up to there. So I, it just has quite a bit of movement to it. Um, so an interesting one. So I'll be back when it's dry. So here's the dry painting. I've decided I like it the upside down. I always like paintings the way I've poured them, but I prefer this upside down. Somehow, I just think I prefer it with the, the larger section here and then getting smaller. I just feel like the balance is better, but you, you could also put this on, on end and that also, yeah, it looks okay. Um, I love it. It's so dramatic, so bright, that the colors are just really quite powerful. Um, the iridescent orange, again, let me just show you how shiny it is. Can you see, it's just beautiful. What a beautiful shimmery color. And then you've got that shimmer throughout the design as well. Um, there are some amazing effects, some beautiful, beautiful cells. Um, I'm really happy the Payne's Gray is there. Um, but because I put it quite deep down in the colours, it's not on the top. If you put it on top, it would be far too obvious. It would it would dominate. But because I put it quite deep down, um, low down in the order of colours, it's there, but it's more subtle. Um, love these edges. Just love them. Really, really pleased with them. It's definitely different, this piece. A totally different design. Um, a totally different layout. Um, I think I'll probably do more like this. I do like it. Um, probably not my favourite composition, um, but it's certainly interesting. It's just certainly different, which is what I like trying. Um, so what do you think? Let me know what you think of this composition. Should I do more like this? Or um, I'll probably think up some other sort of crazy designs, <laughs> crazy compositions. Um, let me know. What do you think of this piece? Great. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like the piece, please do give it a thumbs up, hit the like button um, and do think about um, subscribing to my channel. Great. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.